you came to the crib, Phil's crib, where he shares his opinions on random topics. And now, here's your host, Phil. In this edition of Phil's crib, I want to revisit the video of the mom that made the recent recording of her daughter that was posing on Facebook as a 19 year old. Now, on my The Advice Show TV channel, I focused on this story, but I also stated that it was one part that I wanted to focus on in this video that I felt that was just completely wrong. So I'm gonna roll the short clip of what I saw was the problem, and then we'll talk about it. Your mom's not a drug addict. Your mom's not a crackhead. She goes to school. She takes care of you alone without the help of your father, right? Tell them. Tell them that your mom takes care of you with no help from your deadbeat dad. Takes care of me with no help from my dad. Period. Now, about the news report itself and everything with this story, I stated my opinion about that on the Advice Show TV channel. But with this, when you tell a child you're deadbeat dad, I do this by myself, and that may be 100% facts. And I'm not taking away from that fact. But what I'm saying is when you tell a child, their deadbeat dad number one it's not their fault is that their dad is not around for whatever the reason number two maybe you chose the wrong person male or female and that's why you're dealing with the issue you're dealing with because it was something about them in their character that you probably didn't see or overlooked at the time and that's why you just seen a manifestation of it now but don't say you're dead be dad in the midst of some sort of discipline because it makes the girl you know a lot of times girls have daddy issues and the reason why a lot of these girls have daddy issues and they come out in the streets looking for a daddy and that and they end up getting pregnant and all kind of other stuff some of them get caught up with a pimp on the street looking for a daddy as well so that girl has an issue right now about her father and i don't know if part of that issue she have going on is affecting her and that's why she keep doing this because you know the mom said in the news report that that's not her first time doing something like that she tried other means so she's gonna try it this way a more extreme approach uh to what this girl's doing but i was just something going on with that little girl and you know to tell her to repeat you know your deadbeat dad i mean that goes through a kid and some of you women who have children right now and have the dad not around or he may be deadbeat don't do that don't say you're sorry daddy if your daddy and you know you can you get on my nerves you look like your daddy and you sound like your daddy or whatever that hurts a kid when you do that it's like you're taking jabs at their heart or whatever and you say in your mind well you know i'm just telling the truth he is this way and he you may be 100 percent accurate but in the, the day that child still cares about their other parent no matter how sorry they are if they in jail if they are doing drugs and if they selling drugs if they just not around that child still care about their parent and let that child grow up and go search for that parent to ask them they side of the story because you can make a lot of resentment within your child by saying stuff like that it's just not the mature thing to do i'm not saying cover up for him i'm just saying well you know if you say where's my dad I say well you know i tried to reach out to him and you know i don't know you know what he got going on or i don't know why he don't come around i really don't know but I mean, when he decides to come around, maybe you could ask him. That is the mature adult thing to do. But don't tell a child in the midst of your anger, your deadbeat dad and all this other stuff. You know, because they have some women who are upset by the situation and they, you know, take it out on the, the child, especially a lot of times the sons that look like the dad and sound like the dad, have the mannerisms of the dad. You know, he's like your old daddy and he's this and he's that. You know, they're saying all kind of stuff about the dad and you don't think that affects your son in any kind of way. And a lot of times when you have a lot of uh, men, they can grow resentment toward the mom or they can sometimes think that the women of their group is just like their mom and won't have nothing to do with it. and that's what happens sometimes to a lot of brothers uh in our community because a lot of brothers are out here hurting and a lot of times it's from their mama in the household because their dad wasn't around and the mom gave them hell 
because he, they look like the dad or they sound like the dad or whatever. You know, maybe the girl look like the dad. Talking about in this video, we don't know. Um, so we're just trying to say, just be careful when you discipline your children not to say things like that out of anger. I understand she had a lot of reasons to be angry. I get it. But just anybody, avoid that. Don't talk negative about the other person. Even though they can be crazy, they can be this, they can be that. Just don't do that. Because when you're talking negative about the other person, it does hurt the child. And, and at the end of the day, that's all you should care about is your child's feelings and you know their well-being. Just to make things better. I know sometimes you don't want to talk nice about a person. Sometimes you don't want to uh, have respect. But at the end of the day, it's about your child. It's not about them. Leave me your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to this channel where we also feature so disrespectful YouTube comments and advice show radio. Want news that isn't politically correct or influenced by a corporate agenda? Subscribe to the Advice Show TV where we present media with a common sense approach. Looking for something funny to get you through the day? Subscribe to Ratchet Video Weekly. Thank you for listening and see you next time.